Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and we've got that uh, beat up 870 project coming right along. Uh, I was able to scrounge, thanks to uh, a viewer comment, a beat up law enforcement stock, um, the top folding sheet metal one, same as I have on my other uh, 870. Uh, I'm partial to these. I'm not 100% sold uh, that this stock goes on this gun, but as you can see, it is, you know, messed up. It's got that real honest beat up kind of patina that uh, we've been going for. Um, don't have a stock mounting bolt yet, but um, yeah. I'm also looking into getting an old uh, nice walnut stock, when, by nice I mean messed up and uh, doing a, a homemade bird's head pistol grip out of it just to, uh, you know, have options. I'm probably going to wind up throwing together a spare 870 out of all the parts that I've, I've been acquiring. Um, I'm looking into getting a uh, less shiny bolt, one with a little more wear, and um, obviously the barrel is still an issue. But, um, yeah going to need a stock mounting uh, assembly, a bolt, and a washer. Going to need two pins, the two tabs, the ejector spring and rivet, and a uh, barrel. Uh, I might need a mag tube spring also, yeah. But yeah, just a couple more parts and this should be a gun. Um, I think I'm probably going to wind up, if I do go with this stock, uh, stripping the black, I think it's paint, off of this. Um, and go in bare steel because it, it just wouldn't look right to have blued with, a bla with black paint and, you know, pitting and, and everything. I'll just, uh, I guess, get some steel wool and start, start stripping it or maybe strip it chemically. This might be a good candidate for that. Um, yeah, I really like these stocks. Um, and I'll go to the hardware store and get the uh, the correct Allen screw. I think it's uh, quarter twenty by um, inch and a quarter socket headed cap screw. I think is what they use for these. Um, I'll double check on my other gun and uh you know duplicate that give you guys the specs just so you can save yourself some some time and energy if you're looking to mount one of these because a lot of the times they don't come with the uh the correct mounting hardware um a lot of these have been sort of put on taken off you know kicked around in some spare spare parts box and you know have colorful histories the uh, so the parts just aren't there. I mean, yeah, uh, they have a a lot of these actually will take a sling swivel inside the uh, the center tube. I don't think this one does, but on my other one I do. Um, there's also a little plastic um, shell holder that you can get that clips on top of the uh, the holes in top of it. I don't think I'm going to use that on this one. Um, they're hard to find, kind of a pain to track down. Eh, it doesn't really add all that much. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this stock, but uh, I'll use it for something for sure. Maybe this gun. Maybe once we get it stripped, we'll, it'll, look, it'll look right. The, uh, the black paint's kind of throwing me for a, a little bit right here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at, you know, uh, one piece at a time we're going to get there. That's uh, how this thing's going together. Um, if you guys are looking to save money by uh, piecing together your own 870, I would strongly suggest against it. Um, this is probably going to wind up costing twice what a uh, new 870 Express would be by the time everything's said and done. Um, I just want it the way I want it, and I like beat up, honest wear guns. So this will this will be a a pure thing when it's when it's ready, and I'm really looking forward to it. 
All right, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted as I as I keep working on this thing and as I get the last little parts that it's going to need. Um, and then once we have that, scrounge up maybe a thousand rounds or so and uh, have a day where we just take her to the range and try to break her. You know, if it doesn't doesn't go if it doesn't break in the first thousand rounds of whatever ammo we cram through it, then it's probably not going to break. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to get back to work. Have a good one.